Hey guys. So here is my ceiling fan display. It has gotten much bigger since the last video and I've put up a bunch of different fans. I don't really remember what I had last time since it's been a while. So uh, let's go through them. Start over here with one of the biggest changes. I now have this Autumn Air Air Master here. Sometimes it stalls out on this little controller. I switched it out. Hoping it would be better, but it doesn't. Well, a little jump start seems to work. I got this fan brand new, and uh, look at that, it's stalling out. <laughs> okay, we'll go to medium on it then. It's a four speed control, but this fan's bearings are shot, so I don't know what happened to it or how it was stored. So, uh, yeah, and the motor's a little out of whack, but big childhood fan because I church used to have these fans before they renovated. So, uh, yeah. You can hear the bearings really start to rub. And it's a little slow. Well, because it is like 20 degrees out, the bearings are rough and it's steel bladed. All right, as that accelerates, here's the little hunter bath and dressing room. A new in box find. I replaced that Relight Air Master, I forgot to say, because I wanted to preserve that and not have that one get used so frequently. And I'd rather use this one, because the curved blades will help push the air out better when uh, my dad runs his motorcycles. And there's Hoppy. Here's a uh, view fan. Model number is like V36 or something like that. Blowing all sorts of dead leaves around. <laughs> That's fun. I also got this one new in box off Marketplace. I told a lot of the times with these view fans, the bearings kind of suck, but honestly, this one's, once it warms up, there's no bearing noise. When it's cold, there is a little kind of a raspy rattle there to it. Hard to describe it, but other than that, the bearings on this one are great, and it has a really long spin down for a small spinner. Plus, it moves good air. So here is this, uh, I think it's an air cool, I'm not sure. Kind of an Edison looking spinner, 52 inches. I'm trying to remember where I got this one. I bought it off somewhere. So, yeah, I bought it. <laughs> Has the cool little uh, speed dial there on the side. Or the Vera speed there. Pull chain's weird. Let me just go show this real quick. There's off, so this is how you would normally start it. Light with the fan on, just the light. Fan, all of it off. So I'll do that. See here. That's about half there. For time's sake, I'm just gonna speed through this because I have a lot of fans to show. I'll just zip it on up to high. Good fan too. Silent, moves good air. Here's the smallest fan, I think. Yeah, smallest. This uh, quorum hugger here. Um, I'm not sure what it is. It could be a, a puffer or it could be a medallion. I can't remember which is which. Strong motor for a little fan and a steep blade pitch, but the problem is this fan just kind of it doesn't blow air down for some reason. It seems to like to recirculate it at the tips of the blade, so it doesn't really do anything. Let's get the pull chain a little bit there. All right, that's on. There's a Carib Caribbean breeze. 
sunlight sticker. I left that one on there because originally it had this ocean breeze sticker. It was odd. It had the uh, sunlight sticker with the ocean breeze over it. And same with the control. The control stickers fell off, so I took off the bright yellow because I didn't like how it looked on the fan. And I threw it on the control. So that's speed four. This is one of those fans that uh, the tubular Tokes guy, Skylar Strickland, was selling. This fan currently has the title of being the longest hanging fan in the display. Every single fan has not been hanging as long as this, this little guy has been. Medium high or speed two if you're interested. I don't have any intentions of moving it, so this is here it stays. Or I may shuffle it around in the display. I had a couple ideas of where to put it, but long story short, it's not going to come down. And high. All right, my latest acquisition and probably one of my most special fans, a new tone veranda. Has a cool little toggle switch here, so it's high and then on the little uh, dial on the other side here. This fan is stunning and is in amazing shape. The only problem with it is that the bearings are very stiff and I'm not sure where to lubricate it, so if I had more time, I would definitely make it a little smoother. So there's the little thing on the side that stalls it out <laughs> or turns it off. There we go. Okay, there's high on the little dial there. I'm not gonna fiddle with it, it's a little weird. You know, off and high. Probably the same as the dial. Eh, maybe not, actually, it looks a little faster. And this fan is awesome. Alright, that's everything on this side. The new tone slimline is back. I've had this gut little guy in previous videos. I kind of missed it, and ever since I got the veranda, I had a little bit of a new tone kick, if you can't tell. <laughs> And I decided to rehang this one because I discovered this garage door goes above the rail, which means that this, the blades sit underneath it. There's some good clearance there. I'm not worried. The fan doesn't wobble. <laughs> I think this was a marketplace find too. The quorum was an eBay find, I forgot to mention. And so was the bath and dressing room. I believe that was also eBay little fan is a little slow but I imagine that's normal for it but I don't know and there's high and it has the biggest dorkiest globe I've ever seen on a fan that would look better on a big fan but it's an it's an actual new tone like it the both the globe the globe and the uh, base there All right. last of the new tones this new tone pro line I've had this one for a while this and the Airmaster, I've had both their down rods cut so that they're shorter and they fit better on the ceiling because this would hang too low and I'd probably lose my head. <laughs> you can see two rivets. It's aluminum bladed and of course it's brown. And this one's an actual new tone where that one is an Airmaster. Hello, Pooch. <laughs> I have this one on the can arms control because I like the Vera speed. And these uh, these Newton Industrials are picky with their controls or my cheap ones. So I decided just to give it an industrial one where I can control the trim. Yeah, it's about medium. I was going to have the can arms down rod cut, but I didn't have time and it came down to me deciding between the fans and these two didn't have all sorts of excess stuff on the down rod like wiring. So I decided just to do these because these were quick and easy. And of course this thing kicks butt. <laughs> and there's high. I love it, you get the slim line and then the pro line. Another fan I haven't used in a while, this little Hampton Bay Minuet 2, this beat up one. I got this one at Habitat and uh, 
This little guy came with a light kit, which looks like it came off like a landmark. That was dorky and wasn't installed correctly on it, so I took it off and just had it like this. It also has a down rod, but there was no pin in the down rod. It was just the two screws holding the down rod in, which was fine because it held it in place. But I want a close mount look, looking fan here. And this other pull chain, that's for a light kit, but it doesn't do anything. The switch cap is bent on it, but it's a good little fan and it still runs well, despite its problems. We're already in 10 minutes, wow. For time's sake, here's the Homestead Whisper Fan 3. I'll start that up. We'll move the minuet to high. Marketplace find, another one of them. This one's a uh, one of my favorite fans, <laughs> easily. I love these. I love six blade fans, and I love how this homestead looks. I think it's a, uh, I want to say 38 inch size fan. Not sure. I've also had this one for a while. It's about medium. Kicks butt. Sadly, the blades are all out of whack, and I think the flywheel's a little messed up, but that's fine. Scoot it up to high. Yeah. Of all the fans, this one gives one of the best breezes. This homestead is awesome. Hunter Dreamland. I got this one from a fellow collector, We Fire 88 who was on his channel. He didn't want it anymore, so I got it for this one for free. I got this fan mainly because I have some, I have some young nieces from my older sisters and I figure she would want this for their bedroom. They have a Hunter Vista in their room, and because of their bunk beds and the way the room is set up, they have to climb underneath the blades of the fan to get out of bed. This fan would be shorter, this fan is smaller and shorter and would work better in their room, even though the Vista is a very good fan. Speed it up to medium. I really like the light kit too. The light, kits I the light bulbs I chose though barely clear the blades. <laughs> I actually had to bend the lights downward. I mean, they were already bent, so I figured it wouldn't hurt to bring them down a bit so that the lights would work. And we'll just go to high. I see a lot of the times people cheese, the, cheese these for being cheap or not. Honestly, it works well, so it gives a better breeze than most other Hampton Bays would. Speaking of Hampton Bay, I have a Hampton Bay Grayton, also from uh, Weed Fire. Originally, I wasn't planning on getting this fan. Now that I've hung it up and see what it looks like assembled, I'm kind of glad I did. It's pretty unique. There's a weird looking globe too. I, can, I couldn't use a regular 60 watt bulb in it, so I have this tiny little 15 watt bulb I swiped out of this lamp here. Here's medium. Also, it's kind of cold out here. <laughs> Middle of January, and it's typical freezing weather. And here's high. Not a bad fan. Not at all. Has your typical cheap fan hum, but that's fine. I'm not planning on using it anywhere. Here's a uh, rebranded Universal Hugger. It's originally a Union, I want to say. But I've got it, when I bought it, it was a universal. Um, this one was a marketplace find, actually. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> I've been wanting one of these ones for a while. I love how the housing looks on it. There's a, there was a problem with the fan where the motor rubs against the housing. And that's probably why the person never used the fan, because of that problem. I really couldn't fix it, so... It only really does it when other fans around it are on, such as the pro line, which, which, which kind of shake it. <laughs> and of course, if you move it back and forth, it'll rub. Yeah, that's how. <laughs> Here's a little uh, Tat Tongue's 42 inch spinner. 
marketplace find for free. Quiet. <laughs> This one's this one's a pretty cool fan. I do like this one. It's not often you see a close mount spinner fan, especially a bottom mount one. Has this dorky pull chain from whatever kids room this was pulled out of. I kind of left it on there because I'm too lazy to take it off. <laughs> That's just gonna be knocking now, I guess. <laughs> it's unfortunate because this fan is really good despite the noises it makes. This is okay. I mean, it is cheaper, yeah, but it's still really cool. All right. Climb over the workout equipment here. Here's a KDK Royal Air. This is a habitat find from my friend Wee Fire. He has one too. Mine has a pretty messed up blade there. I don't bend it back because I'm afraid of snapping the brackets. They feel really flimsy, and it, with it being so cold, I have a feeling it's just going to make it even more brittle. Medium. I think this one's capacitor is starting to fade because it's really slow. It's the slowest fan hanging. So, when I feel like digging the capacitor out of the switch gap, which is a nightmare, shockingly, I'll probably get around to it one day. And here's high. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's high. <laughs> There's the wobble from it. I have a Hunter Mariner, the second of the, the second to last fan I got from We Fire 88. This is one I definitely wanted. I love how these look. Plastic on it is a little yellow, but that's fine. I really don't care about yellowed plastic. That's a reverse switch, obviously. That union is real obnoxious. <laughs> Move this to medium. Somehow I always end up having more than one hunter hanging. I don't know why, but I do. Because I got this, the Dreamland, and the bath and dressing room. I did get a fourth fan, or a fifth fan, I can't count, <laughs> that was, I got a Hunter Baseball fan from Wii Fire, and uh, I did have that hanging, but I thought the new Tone Veranda was a little more special, so I decided to hang that up instead. <laughs> All right. The last fan I got from him, a Northman Spinner. The very first ceiling fan I had, actually, on my channel. I had a Northman spinner. When I got it, I had no idea how a ceiling fan worked or what it was, basically. <laughs> I just got it because it was sitting for free. Somehow I lost the motor. I still have the blades and parts to the other to my old Northman. But he gave me this one, which was a really nice gesture. If he ever wanted it back, I told him he could have it, of course because this fan was pretty special. He did like it. Nice and fast, too. Hmm. And that globe is not original. I swiped that off a 42-inch Encon Princess. I've taken them both down since I filmed them. Last but certainly not least is a 42-inch Fasco Charleston. There's low. This fan uh, my dad got me for free. I got a nice surprise. I came home to that. And this Vanity Fair, which has a completely busted flywheel and a really long down rod. This one also had a long down rod, but I got this one cut from a friend recently. Doing body work on my brother's truck. And he just happened to have all the tools handy. I asked him if he could cut it, and he said absolutely. The globe is original. It kind of makes me think of that Westinghouse light kit I put on my Lady Delta. And the Fasco Charleston, Charleston is one of my favorite fans, <laughs> easily. And a 42-inch one at that. You can't beat that mistake. All right, that's right in the hall. 
All right, that should be everything running on high. Now, of course, the best part is spin down. <laughs> I'll tell you this now, you'll be surprised which one is, stops the longest. Okay, so, uh, remember which one's which. Okay, that's just the point. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Gonna sit down low here. Now, which one stops first is, I can't remember. Half of them all have pretty short spin downs. The other half, or a quarter of them are actually pretty long. So usually the one to stop first, it's kind of between the KDK, the Northman, and the Quorum, and the Fasco. Actually, I take that back. It was the Newtone first because of its bearings. Okay, Fasco. Slimline's about to stop too. Okay, Northman, Slimline, Quorum, KDK. It's a lot of names to remember all at once. Um, these are still going. Kind of keeping my eye on this side because there's a lot more fans to watch. Okay, uh, Grayton. All right, it's between the nope, Air Master, Minuet Two, Homestead, Tat Tongue. These three are still spinning. Bath and dressing room stopped. Next, the uh, Edison Air Cool thing. Longest stopping industrial, the Caribbean Breeze. Like I said, the bearings were shot on that. I also forgot to mention, I got the new tone out of a former church, which was converted to a soup kitchen. Long story short, there were five of them. This one was sitting all alone above center stage. The other four were over the con where the congregation would sit. Just the, that stopped, by the way. Now that's the Mariner. That stopped. Now it's between these two. He reused four of the fans, and he left the fifth one sitting in a wet basement. <laughs> so I got it like a year out later, and the screws were all kind of a little rusty, a little rustier, I should say. I mean, it did sat, and it it sat in that church disused for who knows how long, good 10, 15 years. And the bearings are just messed up on the poor thing. I mean, it's aluminum blade, so it's not going to have a spectacular spin down like that would. And, uh, yeah, that's the view fan stopped. And the winner for the longest spin down now goes to the Hunter Dreamland. <laughs> if I had the Air Master and the uh, Hampton Bay Palm Beach hanging, the Relight Air Master, excuse me, though they would still have longer spin downs than the bath and dressing room. Uh, excuse me, Dreamland. There's too many names to remember. <laughs> but uh, there you have it. My ceiling fan display with all 20 ceiling fans. And a cool circuit line I hung the other day. <laughs> so I'll do zero to high. So first switch. Only the Air Master and the bath and dressing room share this one. <laughs> Second switch which should activate most of these fans. There's those. And then the last switch. And there you have it, my current ceiling fan display, and probably how this will sit for a little while, unless I get something more rare or if I want to replace something. You hear all the knocking from all the lights. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, have a good day, and thank you for watching.